now's the time for us to show our technique. Keep our toes pointed, straight knees, keep everything nice and tight. We're gonna get busy. I haven't seen any of the dance moms since we came back from LA, and LA was really humiliating for me. But, you know, I had to brush myself off and get a game plan, and when the dance moms from Abby Lee Dance Center see us, they are gonna be blown away. Heart, heart, heart! Yeah, see, that's beautiful! How about Jill? Oh, being mad that Kendall's at the bottom oh, of the pyramid. Oh, 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 you're brand new. Oh, I'm a team player, but I can't worry about your girls. Kelly and I are at lunch, and of course, the main topic of conversation is the new girl. <gasps> I forgot, I brought something to show you. I have a book from a competition from a few years ago. Oh, you're kidding me? Because uh -uh, <laughs> I keep my books. Chloe, Maddie, and Kendall all danced in the same age group against one another solos, and Jill never remembered our girls beating her daughter. I remember. Chloe was actually three. Maddie was one. Kendall was 10. Mm. Are you going to take that and show her tonight? I might. Oh, I think you should. She doesn't know what she's messing with, because I got these books for years back. So if she <laughs> wants to play that game, I'll pull them all out. I think there's more to Jill's story than meets the eye. I think that we all need to do a little digging and find out why she's a studio hopper and why all of a sudden she's knocking on our door when she's lived down the street from us for years. I think there's a lot to be learned about Jill, and I think it's better to know what you're dealing with than to be blindsided. Anyone who talks like this all the time just can't be trusted.